So you might think bleeding gums are no big deal. Maybe you brush too hard, maybe you skip flossing, or maybe you changed your toothpaste even. But here's what most people don't realize. That tiny bit of bleeding is your body's way of waving a big red flag. It's telling you there's an infection and there's inflammation in your gums. Think about it, if you brush your scalp and it bleeds, wouldn't you consider there to be a problem? Right. And if that's not treated, it can spread deeper and start affecting far more than your smile. Now, let's start in the mouth. When gum disease begins, it's called gingivitis. Your gums look red, they're swollen, and they bleed when you brush or floss. Now at this point, the infection is sitting right at the surface, and the bone underneath is still healthy, it's going untouched. If we catch it here, it's reversible with good cleanings and better home care. But if we ignore it, those bacteria slip underneath the gum line, and they begin to attack the bone that holds your teeth in place. That's when it becomes periodontitis a deeper, far more destructive form of gum disease. Now, you've got bacteria, toxins, and inflammation not just around the gums, but eating away at the foundation of your teeth. It's kind of like having termites in your house. You might not see the damage at first, but underneath, the structure is getting weaker. As your body fights the infection, your immune system sends out its soldiers, which are called white blood cells. They get called to attack the bacteria and defend your body, but the problem is those same soldiers release chemical weapons. They release inflammatory signals that over time start to break down the very bone and tissue that they're trying to protect. And because the infection never really stops, it's chronic. Your body stays in a low-grade state of inflammation all the time. The constant inflammation doesn't just stay in your mouth though, it travels throughout your bloodstream. And that's where things start to really connect with the rest of your body. If you have diabetes, gum disease can make your blood sugar harder to control. The inflammation raises your blood glucose levels and the infection itself acts like a stressor on your system. It causes your body to release more sugar into your bloodstream. And here's the kicker. High blood sugar also makes it easier for the same bacteria to grow and thrive in your gums. So now we've got a two-way street. Gum disease makes diabetes worse, and diabetes makes gum disease harder to treat. That's why we often say, if you've got diabetes and your gums bleed, you're fighting an invisible battle every single day that's happening both in your mouth and in your bloodstream. When we control the gum infection, patients often see better blood sugar numbers and fewer spikes. It's really all connected. Now, let's talk about your heart. The same bacteria that cause gum disease have been found inside the arteries of people with heart disease. When those bacteria enter your bloodstream, they can stick to the walls of your blood vessels. That triggers inflammation and contributes to the plaque buildup, the kind that narrows arteries and can lead to a heart attack. Think about that. The same infection causing bleeding gums can quietly be helping your arteries clog. Gum disease doesn't cause heart disease on its own, but it absolutely raises the risk especially if you've already got other factors like high blood pressure or high cholesterol. And if you've had any kind of stent, any heart surgery, or any bypass, it's even more important to keep your gums completely healthy because your heart can't afford extra inflammation floating through your system. Now here's something that absolutely surprises people. The same oral bacteria have been found in the brains of patients with Alzheimer's disease and strokes. When bacteria from the mouth get into the bloodstream, it can enter into the heart, but it can also travel to the brain. The process is the same, where it triggers inflammation and it damages the blood vessels and the nerve cells. So there's one specific oral bacteria that's been detected in the brain of Alzheimer's patients. It's believed that the toxins that it produces may contribute to the kind of nerve damage that leads to memory loss and cognitive decline. Now, I'm not saying gum disease causes Alzheimer's, but the research shows a strong connection. Inflammation is the common thread. The same chronic inflammation that breaks down your gum tissue can actually affect how your brain ages and heals. When we reduce the inflammation in the mouth, we're protecting not just our teeth, but we're protecting the brain, the heart, and the body's ability to actually function at its best. So, when we talk about treating gum disease, we're not just talking about cleaning teeth or having a better smile. We're actually talking about lowering inflammation in your entire body. We're talking about giving your immune system one less thing to fight every single day. And that's what makes treatments like Lanap so powerful. Because we're not just scraping away the buildup, but we're eliminating the infection and helping the body heal naturally. Lanap allows us to reach deep underneath the gum line 
It allows us to kill the bacteria that thrive where brushing and scalers can't reach. And it actually helps your gums reattach to your tooth. No cutting, no stitches, just your body healing the way it was designed to once the infection is gone. So if your gums bleed when you brush or floss, that's not normal. It's not just sensitive gums, it's your body's way of trying to tell you that there's something wrong. If you've been told you have bone loss or if you're managing conditions like diabetes or high blood pressure, it's especially important to get your gums checked. Healthy gums don't just mean a pretty smile. They mean lower inflammation, better control of your blood sugar, and a heart and a brain that can function without that constant stress. If you're in Dallas-Fort Worth, come in for a consultation. We'll evaluate your gum health. We'll check your pocket depths and see whether a laser treatment like Lanap can help stop the infection and give your body a chance to heal. So thanks for watching and remember, healthy gums don't just keep your teeth in place, they help keep you in place because your mouth is really the gateway to your overall health.